Hello, my name is David Prestige. I'm a technology consultant with W.W. Norton Publishers. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about using a web service, Screencast-O-Matic in this case, which is a free website service that allows you to create 15 minute videos that captures anything that's on your screen. Now there are several textbook publishers that have partnered with various services themselves that allow you to do something similar. But the problem with some of those services is that the file that you end up creating gets locked into a proprietary file format that you really can't do anything with if you decide to leave that textbook or that service. Screencast-O-Matic gives you the ability to create short 15 minute videos absolutely free and then save those videos into a file format, in this case, .movie file format, which you can do a number of things with. You can upload it, to, for example, to YouTube. You can upload it to Screencast-O-Matic's own web service, and again, for 15 minutes, you get that option. You can then use this service to create multiple files that you can archive and uh, upload to your own YouTube channel. And these are all things that I'm gonna get into in this tutorial, but let's start with the basics. The first thing that you wanna do if you are interested in using this service is to go to screencastomatic.com. You can see the URL at the top of the screen there. And once you've created an account, you can click the start recording button to get started. I'm gonna walk you through that process first, and then if you'd like to try it for yourself, it's very easy to do. When you click the Start Recording button, a Screencast-O-Matic control panel will appear, and you can drag out that control panel, and this sets the area that you're going to record any, into. So anything on your screen that's in this area is going to be recorded. You can also use that control panel, and there's a menu at the bottom of that control panel, to set up the basic settings. So what's being recording? Is it audio? Is it video? And you can also use that control panel to adjust the settings to make sure that you're picking up the right microphone. So if you have an inbuilt microphone in your computer, you can set that. In this case, I'm using a plug-in USB microphone, not very expensive, if your computer doesn't happen to have a microphone already installed. If you have a webcam, you can also add that. Once again, you can use the control panel menu to turn the video on and off. When you're ready to record, hit the record button, that's the big red button, and a countdown will begin. At, from that moment on, everything that is displaying on your screen is being captured, and anything that you're speaking, so long as you have a microphone turned on, is also going to be captured. You can click the pause button to stop the recording and queue up another video or PowerPoint presentation or web page, whatever you'd like to do. And when you're ready, you click the Done button, and that's going to save the presentation. After you've clicked the Done button, you can preview your video, and you can also upload the video to a couple of services. You can upload it to YouTube automatically if you already have an account, and you can also upload it to Screencast-O-Matic. And again, you have 15 minutes worth of free video that you can record. There is gonna be a small Screencast-O-Matic watermark that appears in the lower left-hand corner, if you pay $15 a year, that gets removed and you get a bunch of other services. But again, this is a great way to get started with lecture capture with minimal cost. Notice also that you can publish that video file, and that means you're going to save it in a .mov, .move file format. If you download that file to your desktop, you can save it, obviously archive it and use it again any way you'd like. You can upload it to YouTube yourself or any of the several video services that are out there. Vimeo is another one that you might find useful. But the point is you have that presentation or that lecture that you've captured. You own it. It's on your desktop. You can do anything that you want with it. It isn't in a proprietary file format. And again, this didn't cost you anything to get started. So in the second part of the tutorial, what we're going to learn is how you take that Screencast-O-Matic lecture capture presentation that you created using their service and do something with it. I'm going to teach you how to create an archive, so how to download that file to your desktop so you now own it, it's yours, um, you can move from computer to computer, it belongs to you. You can also upload it to YouTube, I'm going to show you how to do that, and you can use Screencast-O-Matic's own service to um, embed and stream that presentation. It's completely up to you. I would advise that you create a YouTube channel. It's simple and easy to do, and 
uh, it belongs to you. There are analytics that are available to you if you're using the YouTube service that allows you to see how often your students or your audience is actually looking at that video. But all of these methods that we're about to look at, completely up to you, find what's right with you for you, and um, feel free to experiment. After I've created my lecture capture, I can do a number of things. In the first case, I'm going to create an archive of it, of it, and to do that, I'm going to click the Publish to Video File. So once I have clicked that, there are a number of settings that I can change, so I'm going to save this as a QuickTime video. I'm going to restrict the size, actually I just restrict the size to 1280 by 720, which is optimal for uploading to YouTube. And then after I click through a few more screens, I'm going to save the video. This is going to take some time, so once you save it to your desktop, I would recommend you can save it anywhere that you like. It's going to take some time to upload. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that and go back. Something else you can do is publish to YouTube. So again, fill out some brief information, you have the settings, and then you'll need to create a YouTube account if you don't already have one and assign it to your uh, screen to your screencast o matic account. Finally, you can publish to Screencast-O-Matic and I click the upload button here. It's going to encode. That will take some time. And once it's done, you'll see I have the option to either share a link, so I have a direct link, or I can grab this embed code. And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to embed this video file directly within our learning management system. So I select the size and I'm going to copy this embed code. That's all you have to do. Just copy that code. And next we're going to move to, in this case, a Blackboard course. Uh, just for purposes of demonstration, I'm going to create a content area for my videos. I'm going to call this My Video Lectures and I'll submit that going to move that content area in Blackboard. Again, this would work with your learning management system as well. I'm going to move it up there, move into that content area, and then I'm going to create, just to keep everything together, I'm going to create one more folder area or module page. So content folder, give that a name. I'll just call this week one lecture recaps and I'll save that. And this is where I'm going to place, for example, all of my week one um, lectures, brief, up to 15 minutes. I'm going to create an item and I'm going to name this Sample Lecture 1. And then in Blackboard, and this is important, I'm going to click this HTML Code View button. And this is into which I'm, what I'm going to paste my embed code into. So I'm going to paste that and click update after it's been pasted and there it appears as a big yellow box. It's okay that it's big and yellow. I'm going to center the box and now I'm just going to give it a title. So my first lecture week one. Finally I'll hit the submit button and when I go into the student view the presentation appears and I can hit that big green play button and the lecture that we just created a moment ago is appearing directly within from the student's point of view directly within the learning management system again you did this absolutely free uh, 15 minutes uh, in length though it's a bit long and again it didn't cost you anything to get started it's that simple you can also download the file that you created in Screencast-O-Matic directly into YouTube. So I created a YouTube account, I click Upload, I click on Upload once again, find the file, and then I start the import process. The benefit of using YouTube is I can embed the video into a learning management system just as we did using the previous method. I can copy that embed code there. But YouTube also gives me some really valuable information um, in terms of how many people have actually viewed the video. So it breaks down the views, how long they're spending while they're there. This is really useful information. So if you create a YouTube channel and create a number of videos that you're embedding in your various courses, you're always going to be able to come to the YouTube site and actually see how effective the videos are.